Did you know that there is a link between Alzheimer's disease and gum disease? And to better help us understand how we can prevent this disease through good oral health, we have Heather, the hygienist, with us today. Welcome, Heather. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited yeah, to be here. Yeah, likewise, this awareness that we got to, you know, make sure that everybody understands the difference between, you know, exercising, having a healthy lifestyle, but, you know, teeth also play a role in avoiding Alzheimer's disease. Tell me about the latest findings in these studies. So they have discovered that there is um, 11 different bacteria in our mouth that can cause periodontal disease. And over half of Americans have this disease, but no one's talking about this. Now we can do a simple saliva test to determine whether or not you actually have the marker. So early prevention is key. I understand that you know, insurance may not want to cover this diagnostic test, but it's not a lot of money. And don't you want to know if you have a marker oh for goodness, this? Yes. Um, but there's also diseases such as diabetes, pancreatic cancer, colorectal cancer that we are able to see on this simple saliva test. That's it. Just a simple saliva test it at is. the dentist office, at right? At the dentist office. And I honestly don't know of any other dental office in the area that does this kind of holistic care, because if you have disease in your mouth, you have systemic disease. There is not a magic fence that uh -huh. stops the bacteria from our mouth from getting into our other organs. So I really want people to understand that you can eat clean all that you want. You can exercise, but if you have disease in your mouth, you have systemic disease. So we are just really trying to bring awareness to having simple mm -hmm. early prevention things done. And you mentioned teeth are alive. They're connected to different organs. And this test is performed at the office that you work at, which yes. is Dr. Knegas. Tell me about the test and you mentioned, you know, Maybe some insurances don't cover it, right. but what is the alternative for that? Is there another way people can find out or is the saliva test the holy grail for it? Well, you know, honestly, um, I would say that the saliva test and there are several that they can choose from. My website, I do offer two mm -hmm. separate different types of tests, but we can do that at my office as well because again, um, we are always trying to build the foundation. You know, you wanna think about your teeth your jawbone is the foundation. Yes. Just like with a house, has the foundation. If you get a sinkhole in it, you don't care about wallpapering it or decorating it. You have to fix the foundation. So our mouth is the foundation for everything. And we wanna make sure that it's healthy. And the way that we can test for these 11 microbes is through the simple tasks that we can perform at our office. You know, I know that you love educating the public about the importance of keeping uh, good oral health. In fact, you wrote a book Dentistry for Dummies, tell me about that. So I wrote this book because so many times um, people just don't understand when we are telling them you have a cavity, you know, how do you really know? I mean, if I, mm -hmm. you know, just said, do you, you have a cavity? What would you know that yeah. is, you know, signifying the fact right. that you actually have dental decay? So I teach people what good dentistry looks like, what bad dentistry looks like, things to look for. Um, and thankfully, I happen to work for like the best cosmetic dentist in all of Tampa <laughs> Bay. So I just love our office. Um, but it is so important to be educated because if you are educated, you can make better decisions for your health. Better decisions, including perhaps even diving into your line. You've created a care line for it. And it's, you said, safe and cleanest well. Tell me yes. about that. So the reason why um, our oral care products are allowed to have all of these chemicals in them mm -hmm. is because they fall into a category of cosmetics. Oh my goodness. And personally being the, the health freak that I am, when I go and I read ingredients, because I'm a label Nazi, I don't want to put anything in my body that is not safe. And when you read some of the ingredients in the commercial oral care products, I'm like, I'm not recommending that to my mm -hmm. patients. So I came up with an, a safe and um, effective oral care line. I've got um, nano hydroxy appetite, which is really fantastic for remineralizing teeth. I've got all kinds of natural things in there that you don't have to worry about being labeled as harmful. I love that. And in fact, we have a deal for our viewers right now. Thank you, Heather, for coming Thank to the you. show. To take advantage of that 35% off Simply Silver Mouthwash, the, whole, the entire line, you can log on to your screen right now, simplysilvermouthwash.com using the code ABC35. This is good throughout the month of November. Thank you again. Thank you.